Whoa, something went beep. Hey, I guess this is the music. Weird. Hey there, everyone! This is how Cal playing stream. Max probably gonna end it today. In fact, we might have a really short video because there's this this lab. Castle Beck apparently this alludes to that specific kind of graphical treatment. All right, from Super Mario game I haven't played. And here's the boomerang from a game I haven't played. So uh, hey, hi. Oh, uh, there's still medals in the last world. I respect that. You can get double. Oh well, I mean. Or if you only got here small, that makes sense. Oh, that one's hidden. Alright, so I'm hoping the level's a bit longer than typical for this game, but it's not the feeling I'm getting right now. Check it out, get a one up, but how? Oh, you get out of here. There we go. I did it. Like, I kind of knew that was gonna happen, but then I got rabbit ears. So it's all good money on the bridge. Yo, check it. See, I can flow a little bit. So this is the ultimate level that you unlock through sort of doing all the extraneous stuff. Well, I guess there's also the previous levels, but we don't speak about those, I guess. Not right now. I don't know if there's a pit or something down there, so I'm just doing that. Yeah! Alright, we've got money there. Ooh, no, I mean, it just seems like a very good idea to have boomerangs available, you know? We're entering the enemy base. Oh, is this a boss refight challenge? Sure is. Alright, well, hops to you. Flops to you. Flops to you, too. Alright, so let's do that again. Ooh, the door outright disappeared, and you get your thing back every time. Alright. Uh, I really dislike you, Panini Piranha. Alright, now you're gonna do that shenanigan. Now I'm gonna do that shenanigan. Alright, let's hope the other bosses are easy. Bosses were, whoa, were very un unequal and difficult. Okay, now, cause see, now it's the Roomba Master, you know, and if you've got clean clothes, you don't got anything to worry about. Is ultimate truth about Kevin Bacon. And there you go, see, then he's gonna explode. He just doesn't like to hang around here with us normal peoples. Well, that's his problem. Whoa! Okay, just final boss refight also included in this. Got it. Yeah, you gotta remember. Um, dude can land on a wooden plank, no problem. Uh, but it's the bricks that are his ultimate weakness. And I mean, I understand that. We've all been in a similar situation in our life at some point. I'm pretty sure I'm not exaggerating. What a foolish, like, PD Piranha is like 20 times higher than this guy. Like, maybe it's gonna take you a little bit to figure him out, but once you figure it out, it's Beardo. I'm hearing pluck pluck, so I'm wondering if it's doing damage. Let's keep it on fire and see. Like, it's making I'm getting hurt sounds, but... Oh, well, yeah, it was hurting. It just apparently, seemingly takes a lot. Well, that's good to know if I ever feel like speedrunning the game. You know, in 20 years after I've forgotten most of it. Well, there you go. Let's see, you always come back. It's a garden in your nose. It's kind of hard to get to, I suppose. Go into the door. It smells or... Don't do that, Al Cow. That's... Yeah, no, do that, Al Cow. You remember how this fights work. Ah, uh, I'm afraid. You just kind of hang around, then you land on a bomb, then you throw it on the other side. A mouser's a dumb. He sure is. Then here you panic. And it's part. It's part of manipulating the console's electricity requirement in order to save money on my nightly bills. He's gone, Jack! Hey, remember this guy? Oh, I need to potato so that I can kick the guy and then he gets unprocessed immediately. Alright, I'm just making sounds with my mouth at this point. Yo, statue crush, look at that. Look, he was in so much pain, he backed off. Uh, of course, it's that version of the fight. Well, okay, so I guess we're gonna hang out here for a little bit. Can't freeze his little buddy. Look at him. He's not even daunted by me looking in his direction. Like, what am I supposed to do against a force of such evil? Oh, kick a thing in its face? Yeah, I guess that could work. Uh, uh, oh, shoot. He's too, he's too close to the edge. Mario's got chiropractic practice to go to, and I 
through too many projectiles. I can't throw any projectiles anymore. That's just how it's like in the bayou, buddy. That's right, ghost eater ice krispies. I'm gonna keep it because it's fun. That's our old pal Resnor. Moving at three frames a second here. Uh, don't make fun. You just came out of a very perilous diet. Look how much slimmer you look like. Beautiful. Alright, well. We're here now in the world of cubes. There's a magician making fun of me. And I've missed a coin somewhere, so I have to reboot the level. Whoa! There was like a vacuum effect, and then I landed on his head. Alright, okay. Oh! Yeah, that is a powerful vacuum. Kind of. Kinda. It's a powerfully awkward vacuum. <laughs> Did it. I bopped on you. So that's Beck, I'm guessing? Hi, I've enjoyed some of your music in the past. Oh, that's it? Oh, <laughs> that's probably the easiest boss of them all! The physics aspect was kind of neat, but okay. Yeah, I know I'm missing one. You don't need to make fun of me. Count Black, not Beck. Uh, oh, see, I, I missed that coin on purpose so I could see that message from Princess Peach. Nice to read the entire level again, looking for that coin again. First coin was up there, so whatever I'm looking at, it's past this point. Got it. No, I know my ABCs. You know them? I'm not gonna make fun, so... Oh, no. It's not here. It's like underneath. Man! Man! Whatever! Whatever! Men! Ever! Video games are dumb. Oh, what? It saved that? Whoa! That is hyper generous! Wow, alright. Making this kind of a bit more of a non-event, but hey, you know what? It's fine. I'm very nervous because I'm impatient and I know that. But honestly, there's just not all that. Yeah, I got hurt. There you go. See? I let you hurt me so you'd feel better. Whoa! Now we got the credits! Look at that! World 1 was the Mushroom Kingdom! There's Shy Guy! World 2 Subcon! Well, they just transitioned directly. There's no, like, scene change or anything. It's just like, piff paff, here you go, here you at, here you are! Again, Laundromat, Booze Woods! Was that really was that wood? It didn't, I didn't read wood to me. It was, it, was, it was a lot of caves and, like, crypts. Housings. World 4 is Dinosaur Land! You can tell by the fact that this guy's neck doesn't attach the base of his skull. Like real dinosaurs! Now I get it. That's how you separate the dinosaur from the horse, you see? It's like magic. There's the Birabudo Kingdom. Oh, really? I guess, okay. So World 5 was Super Mario Land. Sure, I'll, I'll, I'll grant you that to that. That famous Baribudo Eagle. Here is Isle Delfino. Oh no, the Pienta are revolting and have armed themselves with a military. Also, a large aquarium that comes with every tank for moral support. There's a greater galaxy, which is a funny way of putting that. Oh, so the Upside Down Turtles are just separate sprite. Oh, I guess they could just if you reuse the code of like the Upside Down Beetles and Spineys just not programmed to like fall and attack you. Hey, there's the Onion Kid on his Onion Clown. Always ready to come on down. There's the Bowser Gallagher. Yeah! Thank you, Salvo. You just come on, code. Have some fun. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A. Okay, well, I just did it. It then said the end. So, I must have did it. Yeah, I did it! Uh, but every style, I am a super player. Maybe a bit too super a player. Oh no. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A. Okay, well, I just did something. How will I know what it did? It said something fun. So, what do I think about this game? Oh, it starts with 50 lives. There's a fish. I mean, I got to just. I don't. All the buttons don't seem to really do anything. Oh, I didn't look at my collection. Maybe it gives you like a full item thing. So anyway, yeah, this was Mario 3 Mix. I mean, other than the unfortunate Comet experience, which by the way, at no point, like maybe it sounded that way and I apologize for it, but at no point did I mean to like install the nobility of the Mario, the actual Mario Galaxy series. Anything I complain about was strictly in terms of comments for this game. But with that said, 
I mean, when I started, before I started playing this game, a lot of people, you know, went out there and said, Oh, cow, this game... Wow, I didn't kill that Goomba there. This game's pretty much like, uh... Brutal Mario, with everything that that entails. And, yeah! You're pretty much right. Anything that I would use to describe both in good and in bad Mario Galaxy pretty much applies to this, except for the bosses where there's not a whole lot of waiting for the bosses. The bosses are better. Uh, but, uh, no, yeah, technically extremely impressive. In terms of actual level content and design, yeah. Get 50 keys just in case you need all of those. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I need to figure out something. If you use an item, do you get points? Swips. Oh, you don't get points. Interesting. Something good to know for the future. But yeah, um, it's technically very impressive. There's a lot of cool things that are happening, but it's also weirdly... I don't want to use lazy, but underdeveloped and other aspect, other technical aspect, and I don't know. Like, for the most fun, as a display of things you can do with assembly in Mario 3, like, yeah! You know what? Yeah, it's pretty alright. But it shapes itself as a game, and it's the parts where it's a game that, to me, kind of faltered. You go around the internet, and almost all the reviews for this game and whatnot are all, like, 100% just gleaming with joy and laughter. But, uh, whatever touched them, like, seemingly failed to touch me, but, like, it could be just a thing that these people, maybe they're, like, not... Like, the problem is obviously me, I think. Like, I've spent the last 10 years of my life, 12 years of my life, playing ROM hacks all day, day in, day out. So, like, if this is your first encounter with a ROM hack, like, I bet it is the most baffling, amazing thing ever. But it's not my case, and I think that probably by far affected my perception of it. It's not unfortunate, like, during, during my bad times with the comets, uh, I asked, and I shouldn't have, this was a bad thing for me to say. I said Southbird, like, something akin to, like, well, what do you think games are, something like that. I forget the exact question, but it was a bad question, and it was very rude, and I'm sorry for it. The real question is more akin to, what am I looking forward in the game? And that period of time where I was just like completely disinterested, which happens very rarely in these, I think like is the key to answering that question. I've been a lot more patient with games that are several, like several uh, magnitudes worse than this in every way, and was a lot more patient and was a lot more respectful. But, I've said it before in the past, and I've said it not that far in the past, I'm gonna say it now. I'd rather be angry than bored. And, unfortunately, some design decisions in this game just did not tickle my imagination in the slightest. And boredom was achieved. The game is still very interesting, and a lot of the aspects are... Uh, there's a lot of room for fun. Just the way that the whole thing is packaged together and organized. To me, at the very least, and to an audience of people who would be watching my videos, is perhaps not, um... Not as good, like, like not, not organized in the way... In the most optimal way, I guess. I'm really not prepared for this, so... Let's leave it to that, and next time, to be different. I'll be playing a Mario ROM hack.